Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back, thanks for joining me today, today we are going to do Sally. So this is, I just come over with the giggles for no reason, apologies, this is Jack who we did the other week. Uh, the more I look at him, the less happy, happy, happy I am with him. I just need to get over it. Um, we're taking Hear Me Raw and Eternal Bliss from Madame Glam, where you can get a whopping 30% off your orders using the link in the description and the code MissJoe30. There's a whole bunch of links, a whole bunch of codes. Always head to the, script, head to the description um, before you buy anything because you could be saving some money. Oh, Lord, I spent a lot of money the other day. Let me tell you what we're doing on the nail, shall we? We're doing an ombre with the Madame Glam ombre brush. Um, these colours are close to close in colour, so they blend really easily. We're going to do two coats of that. And then let's get this out of the way. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Get comfortable. We're doing a straight line and then another one above it, but it's not as long as the first one. And then from the middle of that top one above it, we're going to come round and stop at the side of the first line. The end of the first line, this bit, here, that is, here. Um, that is the widest part of what we're doing. And then we're going to faff a bit with them, make it a bit more curved. And now we're going to bring them round to a point, to like a V um, in the centre. That's a head. And then from the middle, we're going to do a line just so we can use it as a guide for what's next. So we're going to do the eyes. About halfway between that sort of square we've got there, we're going to come down, down, yes, down in a curve. But it doesn't come all the way to the centre line. And then on the top, we're going to come out and then almost straight down. Again, doesn't come to the centre line. So we'll do the same on this side, about halfway in that square. Oh, we're starting from the bottom this time though. We're going to do a curve and then almost straight up there and then left to meet the other end of the first curve. Now we have a little smile, just a little, little curve. And then we're going to do an M on top, like those birds you draw, you know, just the little, little M birds. But we're going to paint over that anyway. I was just guessing it for um, just to see if it was all going to look right. And then we're adding a little triangle on top centre of her head. And then either side of our centre line, we're going to do a little curve in for a neck, nice and skinny. And then we're going to come down a bit, but curve out and then bend it down. Same on the other side. So now she looks like a character on the, um, you know, the game Clue, or is it Cluedo? Cluedo, where, you know, you have the cards with like Mrs. Miss Scarlet on it. Looks like those. They look like bottlenecks, don't they? Anyway, we're doing a V-neck. We're going to put an extra V in one side of the V-neck just to make it look a bit jaggedy. And then from the curve of the shoulder, we're coming down in a straight line and then we're going to put some little Vs on the end for a sleeve Steve sleeve there we go and then we'll do the same on the other side so where that shoulder is just come down and then add some little V's uh, my hand shakes a lot in this video I was having one of those days where it was just resting on a nerve and it was just a bit I mean, and I know that bothers people sometimes some people um I don't know really what to say about that that's a that's, that's a you issue <laughs> doesn't bother me so we're coming out of the sleeve, two lines skinny, and then we're going to come out in curves for her forearm. I know she looks a bit like Popeye, um, but I think it does improve a bit. So come out straight at first, and then we're going to come out with very shallow curves for the forearms. Then realised I was getting a bit, I was getting dangerously close to hand territory. So we're just going to make her arms longer, and we'll have it going. Um, no, that can be the hand, and then this one goes behind it. Problem solved. <laughs> we don't want to draw hands today. No, thank you, please. And then we're going to add the um, different sections of her dress. Oh, she needs sides. 
will just come out in little curves, give us some hips down and out and just carry on adding where the different sections of her dress is, where it's all sewn together. I was copying a picture. Um, I was copying two pictures. She doesn't end up looking like either of them, <laughs> but that's fine. And for her hair, we're going to go above the hair. We're going to follow the sort of shape of her head and then come in a bit where her neck goes in. So in a bit here and then out. And I've ended it ended it uh, just below her shoulders, but I, can't, I think it's way longer than that, isn't it? Oh, well. So again, in around, in where the neck goes in and then out. And there we go. Hair. And I think that's it. I think the scary part is over so we can cure that. And now we're going to colour block and fill everything in. This is the best part. This part's the most fun. So I'm using white gel paint, the Madame Glam one, which has been confirmed that the black and white gel paints will not be back. Whether they bring out the new ones in the future, I'm not sure, um, black and white but they have been discontinued. So I've ordered some new ones and they arrived the other day. So I'll show you um, in a video soon which ones I went for because I haven't opened them yet. So we did the eyes and we cured. And now we're taking Crystal Ball and Euphoria and another blue um, from a different brand. And we're going to mix them all together. Probably didn't need to, but just felt a bit mixy. You know, you have those days where you feel like being a scientist. <laughs> so we're going to go over all the blue, which includes the little V that we put on top of her head. And we are going to go over her mouth. Um, you could fill in the mouth and, and blue around it, but it was just really small. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just do it on top. We'll do it on top, it'll be fine. Uh, what was I saying? I was talking about, oh, I'm going to speed this up. So every time I switch colour, I'll go normal speed for a few seconds just to remind everybody that it doesn't go this quickly. And then I will speed up this bit because there's nothing much to say about them really. Um, yeah, some people have commented before when I've had like shaky hands, like they have a problem. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how anyone has the energy to give a shit about someone else's hand being a bit shaky. Um... But there you go. I was going to tell you. Can we chat now? Is everybody at How is everybody? <laughs> you okay? I've got to fill these gaps with something. So I'm just going to ramble. Um, I hope you're all okay. Um, I purchased something the other day. And it was expensive. So I'm thinking of counting it as a Christmas present to myself. But I know that that won't last very long. Because come December I'll probably buy myself several more <laughs> Christmas presents. Um, we're going to mix red and orange gel paint for her hair. Um, I bought the new, because the old one was discontinued, and it was, I'll tell you what it is in a second, and it was on eBay and things for like double the price. Oh, look at that shakes. That was going bananas. Um, I bought the new Lego Disney Castle, which I'm super excited about. Um, I am still in the middle of another piece. I bought the bookshop the birch books i'm halfway through that um but yes yeah, so i've got the lego disney castle to do next um and then maybe one day i'll sell all my lego or something once they di once they're discontinued of course where you can get twice <laughs> twice as much for it i'm just i'm classing it as an investment but let's be honest i probably won't sell it but it's an investment still it's an investment in my mental health um when i'm feeling anxious lego helps so you know it's a no-brainer i need it <laughs> um, right hair is done cure it and now we're taking birthday at the plaza which is a tealy teal and we're going to i think i do copy the colors on her dress i think there might be one section that i changed did i i don't know i can't remember it was it was quite a few days ago now <laughs> So now we're taking the yellow gel paint and we are doing the this chunk, chunk, chunk. <laughs> I think I'm having one of those days where I can't talk properly. Words just don't want to come out of my mouth correctly. 
um, and again I've just sped this up so we can get get through the color blocking yeah I'm a bit I'm, I'm a bit annoyed well I, I, with Jack Skellington um, the more I look at him the more unhappy I am <laughs> with it uh, but I'm a bit I'm a bit the same with this one as well I think she's fine until I do the dots in the eyes and then oh this color is ghoul's night out from bull pit nails um yeah i put her dots for her eyes there's just something i feel off about this um but you can still tell it's her and i'm happy enough <laughs> happy enough that, that, that you're seeing the video um i have filmed um what's his name oogie boogie oogie boogie but uh, he's a disaster um if i i'll try and maybe put a picture of him on screen maybe he's short and squat um and he's sort of like it's like if you got a miniature plush teddy of him you know he's a bit disproportionate um so i'm not sure whether to redo him or just file off the bottom half and do it bigger or just not do it at all and move on to something else and then go back to these you know another time i don't know let me know what you think do you want to see oogie boogie okay now we're taking creature feature again from bull, bull pit nails uh, which is a really dark teal and we've got that bit there and then the bit in between her um, arms, like her wrists, will be that colour. And then I, the bit on the bottom right, I can't remember if it was pink or not. It might have been black and white, I don't know. But I did it in pink just to brighten that section up. And then we will go, we will cure all of this. So I am flash curing as I go, or full curing. Um... It doesn't hurt, so <clears throat> excuse me. If you're happy with a the bit, then cure it. And now we're doing the details on them. So I tried to copy this exactly as it was. So it's like a circle, but that doesn't join fully. And then that join comes out in a swirl. They're like swirl roses. So each of these curves I'm doing, they're not, the gaps between the lines aren't the same thickness all the way around. Yeah, the same, yeah okay um, you okay i feel okay so then we're just going to do a lot more of those so as if we've got a circle in the middle and then rings around the circle but the rings aren't necessarily evenly spaced there we go and then we here we have some stripes and i'm using creature feature on top of the uh la, 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 birthday at the plaza and then here it was thicker stripes was it in these colours? Can't remember, but it was thicker stripes, so we'll just plonk a couple of stripes on there. This is the Double Trouble brush from Ball Pit Nails as well. Oh, and then this section had like spots on, or like patchy bits on, so we'll add a couple of those. And then I think, is the rest plain? Oh no, we have some stripes coming up. But the good thing about these patterns is they don't have to be perfect. You know, the swirly, rosy bits on the pink. They, they don't have to be perfect. These stripes don't have to be perfect. Some can be thicker. Some can be thicker. Some can be thin. You know, they don't have to be straight. It's fine. It's a, it's a patchwork kind of a, a nice mess. Um, <laughs> and then I'm adding some lighter stripes on here. I don't know whether they were there or whether I just wanted to lighten it up. Uh, but I think if you get the the pattern on the pink, the sort of rosy pattern, that's quite um, sort of not well known. What's the word I'm looking for? Like people know what it's meant to look like. Then the rest you can do whatever you want. Do what you want. And then her mouth, we've just done a curve and then an M on top and then a curve underneath. And I think I end up, I think she ends up looking a bit too lippy. You know, like she's had a lot of fillers, but to the point where, you know, some people have the fillers so much that their lips curve up, so they can't properly have their lips touch each other when they're talking. It kind of, they, you know, they look a bit trouty. Um, 
you know, when their lips enter the room before the rest of them. Right, we're taking BPCA06. I love these. Use the link and the code. I've mixed it with blue. It's a, a black jelly. Mixed it with the skin blue. We're doing a little straight line and then a vertical line. And then from the top of that vertical line, we're going to curve it to meet the right side of the little straight line. And then, we, so we've got a little triangle on the right there. And then not the same size as that triangle, a bit further down into the triangle, we're doing another triangle. Does that, oh, I knew this was going to be difficult to say. We made a triangle with that curve. And then where we had that triangle, the left side of that triangle, we brought another line out to meet the straight line at the bottom. But the top of, which made another triangle, but wasn't completely mirrored from the one before <laughs> I think that will make <laughs> I think that will make more sense later on and then we've done some some of this color above the eye we started touching the eye and followed the shape of the eye but lifted away from the white a bit as we got to the outside and then we're going around the hairline and then a bit under the eye this is where I was copying a picture and I'm not sure whether I should have been because I don't know I don't think I do it justice um, so we're going to go along around the face as well, just where the picture had darker bits. Um, and I think later on I do go back and darken them, but it is, I have kept that bit in, so we'll see it. And then we're going to do a little shadow under her chin, because we will be outlining her chin. And we'll just fade that down a bit down her neck. There we go. That makes sense. The chin would cause a shadow. And a tiny bit under her lip, because all that filler... Her lips poking out, you see. So now there's a shadow on her face. And then we're going to go down the right side of her, the V-neck. And then just up a little bit on the left. And down the rest of her neck. And then I'm curing that and I'm mixing the black jelly with some of the hair colour that we made. And we're going to do just some streaks through the hair. Just to give it a bit more um depth dimension i don't know i'm not good at any of this depth and dimension stuff i'm just winging it <laughs> just making it up as we go along um but it's fun i like doing that so we'll put some streaks on there we'll do the same on this side we'll whiz through that um and i thought she was looking okay so far but i just i don't know something happens i don't i can't put my finger on it um, but we're going to outline everything we've done, um, including all the sections of the dress. So we'll divide the, we'll outline, we'll outline everything. That's where I'm going with that. Uh, so that's what we're doing now. Nice and light pressure. Don't press down too much. This is a really bendy brush, but you can see it's not bending that much. So that's how little pressure um, I'm applying can get super thin lines with this brush um, but the thicker you want the line the more pressure you apply but I'm always using my pinky on my left hand my dominant hand the one with the brush in it um, to rest on uh, the thumb on the other hand or just ha yeah rest it somewhere um, so it's sort of you can balance it and it's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Just a, a rest. Steadies it. That'll do. So we're going to outline all her sections of her dress. I'm not dressed right now. I'm in my pyjamas on my bed and it's uh, quarter past three in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm having a pyjama day. I bought an Udi um, in the sale because they're ridiculously expensive. However... I pro knowing what it feels like, knowing what they're like, I probably would fork out full price. It's like wearing a duvet, but better. It's so warm. And it's cold here now. It's bloody freezing all of a sudden. Winter is upon us um, and it's fudging cold. Put this on. It's like being in a toaster, but more comfortable <laughs> than that sounds. I got the black one with all the planets and the shooting stars on and the matching sleep tea and the matching hair turban. <laughs> right, her eyes. So we've done a thin outline on the bottom and then on top a lot more pressure. See, now we've given her this kind of eyeliner and then we're doing a thin line 
following the shadow. So a thin line here and then more pressure on this part. Press down, leave, go slower so that more polish is deposited. Need to go over that again, make it a little bit thicker. So press down and then lift off so it's thin as we get towards this um, corner. Let's call it a corner. And then we're going to, on that shadow bit, do a line just like that. And then the hair. Oh, I did this about four times. I don't know why. It's really simple. I was just, I don't know, just, just couldn't get it how I wanted it. So going to outline the hair. And then, do we do it at this point or did I give up and move on to something else? <laughs> Um, just just doing black lines through the hair, um, but I did it several times. Just wasn't wasn't happening for me. Is it now? No, <laughs> gave up. So we're going to do a little point for her chin, but like a soft point, just a little sh a soft V, and then here. So we're going to do a line. This one's towards her the front of her face. So as we bring it round, I'm going to bring it so that it's towards the far side on the left there we go and we'll do a couple of those and then we'll just do a bunch of lines through the hair but I was doing the line from the front of her fringe and then bringing it close to her face all the way round so that that line ended next to her neck and it wasn't right and then I don't know I just kept wiping and redoing which is why I'll show you this side and then I did the other side off camera because um, it was like the sixth time I was doing it and uh, it was just too much pressure. So now we will outline her lips very carefully, tiny little thin strokes, a little M and then a big curve and then we will add her uh, stitches and things now so we come all the way out from the mouth not to the end of the eye but definitely well into it um, distance wise <laughs> and then we're going to add the um, all the joins where there's stitching and, and then I realized I've messed up here maybe shouldn't have done the black line um, above the eye because I can't do her I tried her eyelashes the way they are because they're sort of little v's um just a bunch of v's along her eyelids but it just looked too messy with the lines that I had on there so I give her more kind of more falsies just some glamorous lashes um, and we're adding maybe a couple more lines on her arms than than was there or is there just for just to be a bit more interesting so these lashes, we're just going to give her three, although I think I had a fourth, just flicks out from the eyeliner coming out to the side because, yeah, the, the V's would have been too messy with that line that we've got there, but it's cured, so couldn't do anything about it. I did turn her, turn the nail upside down to bring these lashes out from the eyeliner, but every time I turn it back over, they they weren't going in the right direction compared to the other ones, so I had to start from the top, but normally if you want to wisp something off you want to start at the bottom so it's so it does wisp off at the top um, and now we're just adding little dashes over all of the lines we've just done um, do some straight some at a bit of an angle in one direction some in at an angle in the other direction um, or you could do some crosses if you wanted I don't think I did any crosses but just lots of little dashes and then I don't know what happens next. I can't remember. I was going to ask you all, when shall I start doing Christmas nails? Oh, a line across her mouth, just a straight line through the lips. And then we'll do just little dashes across the joins of, is on all of them? Was it just that one? Oh, a couple of where her different dress sections meet yeah when should I start Christmas nails I do love doing Christmas nails but then I love doing any new season nails because you're kind of bored of the season you're in but um I don't want to be bored out of my mind of it by December the 1st 
Oh, eye dots. I wanted her looking at Jack. So I didn't like that dot. So did them again. Are there something not right about her eyes? Should I have done them in the centre? Are they supposed to be bigger, those dots? I, d I don't know. I think I'd stopped looking at the picture at this point. So that's probably why it went wrong. <laughs> We're going to add some very light grey on the inside of the white. But on the bottom bit here, it doesn't go all the way to the top. It just sort of wisps off. And then the same on this side. And then we're going to start faffing with um, other bits of shady stuff. Oh, we've mixed the blue skin colour with white. And we're going down the centre of the nose. So next to the dark line we did. And then that sort of not a full V that we made off the other V is now a full V. But half of it's white and half of it's, half of it's light and half of it's dark. I'll try and get a picture and zoom in on it and put it on the screen um not that that's gonna do me any favors because it's probably shocking close up um but hopefully it'll make more sense and then we're just adding light bits to the left um of everything and um, we did a bit on her chin and a bit down her arms maybe should have added this stuff before the stitching because had to kind of avoid the stitching a bit but you can always go over it if you um if you cover some of the stitch up wipe it off or go over it I'm just going to stretch out that bit that we did on the chin so it kind of wisps off and we're going to go down the left side of this uh, neck hole um, up to where we did the dark side so the dark side came down from the right and then up a bit and then the light bit was just on the other um, side <laughs> And then I put some under her eyes because the picture, I must be looking at the picture. The picture had some there. I don't know whether that messes it up or I don't know. But I am curing a lot as I go. And then here, decided to try something that you can't really see. Just patching a bit of lighter. Um, is that a blue and white mix or is it just white? I think it might have a tiny bit of blue in it, maybe. No, it looks like just white. Um for where you do it where you do that light bit with your makeup but it, i don't think you can see it at all i was just enjoying myself i knew i was getting nearly done so i thought what else can i do um let's darken let's go and darken all the um all the bits that we did the shading because i thought they weren't standing out enough so we're just going to go around most of that again uh yeah christmas don't know what i'm going to do if if madame glam sent me the advent calendar this year I'm, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I could go live every day, but then that's a lot of pressure. I could just film one nail with it, but not edit it. Like pause it when I put it in the lamp. But other than that, just keep it raw footage. And that will save time. Because it's the editing that sort of by the 19th of December, I'm just dead. I've been getting like four hours sleep a night. Um, and I lose my voice and I get really anxious. So I just, just trying to be aware of that and not let it happen again. Because the last two years I've been ill at, at Christmas. Oh, we're doing some shading under the sleeve. Just where it would, you know, it's not skin tight. And then some little dots that turn into dashes. So put, poke your brush on it. Don't poke it. But, you know, dot your brush on it. But don't move it off the nail yet. Then just pull it a little bit outwards. So there's a dot. And then just pulls out at the bottom. Just teeny tiny ones for the bottom of her nose. At uh, the bottom of her nose? Yeah, her nostrils. That's what they're called. And then we're going to... We've mixed some white, tiny bit of white with the hair colour. And we're just going to put some streaks of that through. Um, again, just wanted to just carry on painting. Um, and then we're taking... Oh, Ball Pits Poltergeist, um, which is just amazing. I love it. Look at the nail stuff, Grime, under my nails. I've got nail stuff under my nail stuff. And we're going to go all around and shimmer up the background. And then we will cure and we will top. And then we'll be done. And I need to decide if we're going to do Oogie Boogie as is or do him, do him at all. I mean, I've painted him, but do the video at all or so it's here's the options. OK, let me know what you think. We 
don't do the video and I move on to something else and we come back to them another time. Or we do the Oogie Boogie that I've done. Or I file off the bottom half of it and redo it and we do that. Or do I move on to something else? I wanted to get more Halloweeny stuff in, but I had to miss a week. Um, and we're sort of running out of time now, so I don't know. But I suppose we can do creepy characters at any time in the year, you know? It doesn't have to be Halloween. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, <laughs> so this is Sally. Sally kind of if she got lip filler and had maybe a facelift and I don't know had an OnlyFans account. <laughs> right. There she is. Let me know what you think in the comments. I do love to hear from you. Let me know what you think we should do about Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie? Oogie Boogie? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Um, and come say hello. I love hearing from you. I appreciate you being here so, so much. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.